Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is about one of my favorite vitamins of all, and it's vitamin D, more specifically D3. And today I'm going to talk about uh, five important warning signs that you might be deficient in this awesome vitamin, which technically is not even a vitamin. It's actually a steroid, and a steroid are hormones. That's why vitamin D is so powerful, has so many health benefits, and every cell in your body requires all the benefits of vitamin D because it is a hormone. It acts as a hormone, has all the benefits of a hormone. And unfortunately, the older we get, the less we produce, the less we convert, the less we utilize. Now, underneath in the description area, uh, you get additional links and information. What I suggest is the best way to improve your vitamin D. And again, you need to take vitamin D3 with K2. This is really, 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 really important. Most people are doing it wrong. They're not taking the right form. They're not taking the right dose and they're not taking the right combination. This is why so many people are not getting the results or the benefits from correct vitamin D. Also, if you found this helpful, share it, like it, subscribe, and uh, make sure you click the bell icon for similar videos. Okay, so let's get started because like I said, vitamin D is so powerful. Most of us are deficient. It's estimated that at least 50% of the US population is deficient or has suboptimal levels of vitamin D. Um, the darker your skin, the more deficient. Hispanics, it's like 70%. Black African-American people, darker skin are 85% deficient. And even if you get out in the sun, you need a lot more of it. So let's get started with the five symptoms. The first one is if you're getting sick, often if you have colds uh and so forth that's a sign that you could be deficient in vitamin d3 uh remember you got to take d3 with k2 and that's because vitamin d boosts your immune system that's another reason why during the winter months people get sick more often we're not outside as much we're not getting enough sunlight which requires sun to produce vitamin d and therefore we need to supplement it again if you're sick you're feeling a little bit run down I actually take, you should take a minimum of 5,000 units uh, of D3 with 100 mics of K2. Again, more information about this in the description area. But when I'm feeling sick or a little run down, I take, I take naturally 10,000 units every day. But if I'm feeling sick, I take 20 to 30,000, literally in two or three days, whatever I was feeling is gone. If you're feeling tired or fatigued, I know there's a lot of different factors that can cause fatigue, but vitamin D is another factor. Again, that's why we have a little bit more energy during the summer because more sunlight, more vitamin D. Another one is pain, more specifically bone pain and joint pain. Again, there could be a lot of factors for this, but vitamin D requires is required for, vi for, for healthier bone. And remember, as I said earlier, vitamin D3 works with K2 because higher levels of vitamin D can actually leave deposits, calcium deposits in your arteries, which obviously over time it, it makes you know the, the blood flow smaller and smaller because of the calcium buildup. We don't want that obviously because it can lead to heart attack or stroke. K2 works with uh, vitamin D3 by taking the calcium out of the arteries and puts it right in the bones where we want it, especially as we get older. So if you have joint pain, bone pain, taking vitamin D3 with K2 is very beneficial. Also, if you have muscle pain, it's also linked to having deficiencies. Granted, if you're working out, it's hard to really know. Is it from the workout or is it from lack of vitamin D? But it can't hurt to take more vitamin D. Another factor is poor wound healing. Again, a lot of factors as we get older. If you cut yourself, you know, shaving or whatever, you're not healing as well as you used to. Okay, again, a lot of factors. Hormones is a big factor. Stem cells is a big factor. But vitamin D definitely helps. So if you're not healing as well, take extra vitamin D3. You could be deficient in it. And finally, another factor is if you're feeling down or depressed, vitamin D actually helps boost the mood. Now, it's ironic that, you know, uh, during the winter months, the colder months when we're getting less sun, people tend to also be more depressed. Again, all the factors, all the benefits, there's millions of them, but one of them is vitamin D3. So if you're feeling down or not feeling good, you might be deficient in vitamin D. Again, take D3 with K2. Just take a higher dose for a month or two and see how you feel. I have a lot of people tell me when they take it, they do feel better. They feel more energized and happier. Again, vitamin D along with K2 is very hormonal, has all the youthful hormone benefits that you have when you're younger. 
So in summary, we have five factors. If you're getting sick often, all right, that's another factor. It's stress and, and vitamin D helps with that. If you're feeling tired or fatigued, if you're having bone pain, back pain, especially even muscle pain can be a deficiency in vitamin D. Also, if you're not healing, wound healing issues, you're not getting uh, you know healing with cuts and so forth. This is especially important for diabetics. People have high blood sugar, high blood pressure levels. You definitely even need more extra vitamin D3. And finally, if you're not as happy, if you're feeling down or depressed, all these things are linked to deficiency in vitamin D or low or suboptimal. I suggest a minimum of, when you do a blood test, 50 uh, level, having a level 50 nanograms per deciliter uh, per, per milliliter. And I have mine around 90 or 100. It's really high, but I never get sick. I'm never tired, all right? So all these factors help. Again, more information below in the description area about the best solutions and best way to absorb and have more vitamin D in your body naturally. And it's super easy. I just suggest people take a pill. Of course, nothing beats the sun, but most of us aren't getting enough. I'm indoors right now. So share this, like it, help other people get healthier and stay healthier. Share it with family and friends on social media. Make sure you're subscribed if you found this helpful. Or there's going to be additional information about this topic. So click the bell icon so you'll be notified when you get similar topics are released. Again, thanks for watching. And I wish you a very happy, healthy day.